Hi, my name is Ashley Cornett, and I'm one of the regional business managers that oversees field applications in North America. Um, antibodies are typically titrated for a multitude of applications. In the context of our Total Seek portfolio, it is a newer way that we try to troubleshoot for our end users and come up with viable commercial options. Biolegend being a commercial antibody supplier for applications like flow cytometry, when you think of flow cytometry and why you titrate antibodies, you're thinking of it in the context of spectral overlap with varying dyes. The considerations that you have for single cell applications, it's much different. So how we look at it is as a balancing act. So you have all of these specificities that are cocktailed together to capture as much protein derived information as possible. And eventually you, what you want to do is have an antibody that's for a high antigen marker cocktailed with an antibody for a maybe rarer event or protein or a low express protein to have an equal opportunity to be detected on an Illumina flow cell. So when you think of an Illumina flow cell, it's loaded with an ADT or antibody derived tag library and you want to ensure that all of these antibodies have the potential and the equal capacity to be read. And so that's our main consideration for single cell applications when you titrate an antibody. Something that is also important to consider is antibodies that are of too high of concentration. So when you have an antibody, let's say for a CD45 or a CD3, you want to make sure that that amount of antibody that's pulled together with other antibodies isn't too high because it could result in nonspecific binding or high background that then needs to be accounted for in downstream analysis steps. So when you're thinking about titrating antibodies for single cell applications, obviously you would want to do it by the application you're intending to use the antibody for. However, sequencing is pretty expensive workflow, so we try to come up with more cost-effective ways that you could titrate antibodies for, uh, you know, using total seek antibodies. With that said, our main, you know, gold standard application that we support is flow cytometry. And so what we've suggested is that what you can do is actually use PE conjugated antibodies that are the same clone that you intend to use in your, you know, single cell workflows and do a basic single stain experiment to figure out what is the optimal concentration by flow and then jury rig it into what you would do in your single cell experiments. Alternatively, if you wanted to do something that more or less relied on the presence of that barcode, you can use a total seek antibody and use a secondary that is an oligo conjugated to a fluorochrome. And again, to do that, that same sort of application test by flow, and that oligo would be specific for the barcode. So again, you're getting the specificity of the barcode to that clone and using fluorescence as a mean, uh, a readout to determine the optimal concentration. A few years back, in about 2018, BioLegend came up with this idea that we needed to develop pre-optimized panels. And those panels would be provided to the customer in test format. So these panels are lyophilized and a test would represent a reaction for, let's say, a million cells. So these, these panels really originated out of the idea that we wanted to come up with a solution for people so they wouldn't have to endure the cost to make an antibody uh, have consistent antibody performance between sequencing runs. And as this evolutionary tale of our prototype panels came into a catalog solution, it really had a neat construction path where we leveraged flow cytometry. So we took a, a five point titration experiment where the 1x concentration represents the predetermined optimal flow concentration of any given specificity. And then we used our hashtags to represent each of the five varying concentrations for the CD3 uh, marker, let's say. And basically what that would do, it would eliminate any sort of discrepancies that you would get from independent sequencing runs or independent uh, single cell runs. So by doing this, you know, you work through this construction path where you have tested these five, you know, varying concentrations of any given antibody and you've ran it on a given range of samples. So sample 
Set one would consist of whole blood, PBMCs, and variety of cell lines that were conducive for detecting that, that protein of interest. And let's say that, you know, we determined a favorable concentration of that specificity, then that went into our fully formulated cocktail. The second wave is maybe target, targeted proteins that weren't expressed in those initial samples that we've tested. We then had that second sample test, sample set of other various cell lines or other samples that would express that marker of interest that we could then again do that same five point titration test to see what would be the optimized formulated um, concentration of that antibody. And unbeknownst to us, we, it led us to our universal cocktails and these have been really a great mainstay for us and have really nice flexibility for customers to perform their applications and in a cost effective way. If you have any additional questions about titrating antibodies for single cell applications, please don't hesitate to contact your local technical contact.